The Pacific Salmon Foundation has begun a plan to reestablish water flow between two sections of the Tranquil River in an effort to save threatened salmon populations. Due to record-breaking drought conditions, the mouth of the Tranquil River, located about 15 kilometers west of Kamloops, went dry in early August blocking pink and coho salmon from entering their spawning areas. So you will have potentially a whole year's worth of salmon spawning unable to happen because the salmon won't be able to get up into the streams and up into the areas where the habitats are suitable for spawning. So we're really worried about major loss of adult salmon and, and spawning for future generations. Uh, what has happened is there's become a plan to do a restoration project, to dig out a bit of a channel, to give the water flows a better chance of connecting between the flowing stream and the lake and give salmon a chance to get in there and access their spawning areas. Low water levels from drought conditions also increase water temperatures, which can be fatal to some salmon returning to spawn. And it would be like a human that is, uh, say, trained to go and run a 10K or a marathon in you know, normal conditions, and then we send you out there on a 40 degree day. If we actually made you run a marathon on a 40 degree day, you might not make it. You know, you might pass out, you know, you'd probably have stress and physiological problems. And that same kind of thing happens to our salmon. And when these small streams start to dry up, when the water temperatures get high, those juvenile salmon that need to spend a whole year in our freshwater environments will struggle to survive. And in many cases, we've seen them uh, dying in these streams as water temperatures get high and water flows get really low. The foundation said it will be releasing extra water from upper watershed storage lakes later this month in an attempt to increase river flows and reconnect the Tranquil River to Kamloops Lake. The Ministry of Forests has said province-wide drought conditions have been caused by several factors, including an early snowmelt and little precipitation. Forecasting at Kamloops, I'm Josh Dawson.